because uh, commemorating the War of 1812, when you do that, you got to think about the Great Lakes one for one reason, and of course, you have to think about New Orleans too, because you know there was a big role played down there in that war. So, our tribute to New Orleans is to do a little brass band music, more of a traditional method. However, we're not quite that traditional. We don't have a sousaphone player, and we have a full drum set up here, and we got a guitar player. But we're going to do our rendition of what they're doing down in New Orleans with the brass band. So we hope you enjoy this next selection of entitled Brooklyn.
and gentlemen, that course so, featured on some bombs as you third class, Greg Leggett yep, once again. Have, they're going to be giving tours also. I want everyone to please turn around and look behind them and notice what beautiful sight is drifting up the water here. And that's what this is all about this week, ladies and gentlemen. So let's, uh, let's get them a loud crowd shout and loud applause. Let's let them hear down there on the That's right, and that's why we do what we do. So we're going to change the flavor a little bit. We're going to do an instrumental. Like I said, variety, variety, variety. Ladies and gentlemen, this one right here is a, it's a jazz tune, but it's kind of that Latin flavor. So if you feel like you need to get up and move around a little bit, this is the one you want to do it on. We hope you enjoy this tune entitled Soul Song.
Ensuring freedom of the seas for commerce, travel, and basic human rights is a fundamental mission of the United States Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard. Across vast distances, 
Amidst great danger, more than 40,000 sailors deployed aboard nearly 300 ships are on the watch 24-7 to defend and protect our homeland. Today, this mission is familiar, our nation's strength a given. But its genesis took place 200 years ago in a very different world. The year is 1812, a small young nation only recently independent once again goes to war with the mother country, one of the most powerful empires on Earth. Freedom of the seas is the core cause of the conflict. For years, the rights of American ships and sailors have been trampled by Great Britain as it seeks advantage in its global struggle with France. The war will be bitter, unpopular, and polarizing on both sides of the Atlantic, it will also provide a stunning surprise. Through three years of battle, a tiny, unheralded United States Navy stands up to the mighty British fleet, stunning the world in a series of ship-to-ship -ship engagements decided by superior American technology, innovation, and determination. These are moments etched in American history the USS Constitution, Old Ironsides, in all its glory. The Battle of Lake Erie, as a determined American flotilla sails forth to secure a pivotal victory. And one night near Baltimore Harbor, where a solitary figure sees his nation's flag still flying over embattled Fort McHenry, and in the dawn's early light, puts pen to paper to write the star-spangled banner. The War of 1812 gave us much more than a national anthem. It unleashed an American Navy, a Navy that to this day has proved essential to our nation's survival and prosperity, protecting international commerce, enforcing trade laws, and ensuring freedom of the seas. It is a global mission with global consequences. More than 90% of all international trade travels by sea, and 95% of all telecommunications travel under the sea. Our Navy's ability to operate forward is what protects these sea lanes and keeps the most serious threats far away from our shores. What began in 1812 has matured into today's Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard, with a quick response capability second to none. Be ready, be rapid, be there. For warfighting and for humanitarian assistance in response to natural or man-made disasters. Freedom at sea in 1812. Freedom at sea today. The United States Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard, keeping the sea free for more than 200 years. <laughs>